Hi, this is Lee Ellis with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. You know, this year we're going to work through our models. We have a lot of models. I'm a visual person. I like to see something. It helps me remember the principles involved in it. And right now we're working through the Leadership Attributes model. Last month we talked about the foundation, which is character. Honor, character, uh, being ethical, all those kind of things, are strong values. We talked about that, and they're so important. Without that, really, people aren't going to trust you. So it's the foundation. This month, we're up one level, and that is mission and people, as we call it in the military, but most people call it results and relationships. And here's what's so important. You have to have both if you're going to be a good leader. But 40% of the population is wired for results, mission focus, and 40% are naturally talented for relationships and people. But you have to do both. That means that you're going to have to adapt. Now, we use a uh, kind of a tilt model, a balance model. Now, the truth is you won't be able to reinvent yourself, and you're not going to completely get completely balanced very often. Okay, but when you learn to adapt, some of those talents and behaviors from the other side, which is not your natural wiring, you become so much better as a leader. In fact, you adapt a little bit and people won't even notice that you're not completely balanced because it just works that way. I've seen it over and over again. I've been working with this for more than 20 years. So you want to have that leadership balance. If you're highly results oriented, you are logical and results focused. And that's important. You got to have that. In fact, your bosses over the people over you are depending on you to get results done. But you also have to care for your people and let them know that. And that's an adaption. But when you connect with their heart, when you are sincerely looking at them, smiling at them, acknowledging them, letting them know you appreciate what they're doing, they are going to be inspired, they're going to be energized, they're going to work harder, and they're going to stay with you longer and perform better. Now, if you're highly relational and you're trusting and kind and listen to people, but you're going to have some times when you've got to look at the logic of it, make sure we're set up to get results, and then hold people accountable in a nice way, but you've got to hold them accountable. Okay, now we've done some really good work on this. We've worked, done this exercise with many, many, many people for the last 20 years or more. And so we have a, a one-page worksheet that you can go through and really kind of see where you are and what you would have to do to adapt to the other side. It has, I think, five questions on it. You work through it, and it'll really help you understand this and help you adapt. Not reinventing yourself, you're just learning to adapt in the situation, and you'll see the payoff. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Please go to the blog, read a little bit more about this. There's more details there, more stories about it, and I think you'll enjoy that. And look forward to seeing you again next month.